Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we will be talking about some wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah. Um, Good time to be a wrestling fan. Uh, Not for the quality of WWE, don't worry. Are you, okay, you're talking about things that are help, happening elsewhere? No, I'm just saying, you know, WWE's kind of gone in the garbage a little bit. Uh-huh. But you have a vest, you know array of all types of wrestling that you can watch it's true i mean we had new japan over the weekend young bucks and kenny omega new champions impact wrestling you have mlw you have lucha underground coming back tonight you got so much crap to watch ring yeah. of honor um did you hear that apparently ring of honor has signed for a show next year at the garden everyone's moving into vince's territory that's it that's what he gets for not actually wanting to book shows at Madison Square Garden. Well, I think anymore. the problem is, I guess, when they book at the Garden, they have to use the MSG television crew and all that stuff. Uh -huh. so, Probably cost more. Yeah, absolutely. I would imagine yeah. so. So like, it makes sense. Like, but... your worker works for $20 an hour. This guy, he works for $100 an hour. Sucks for you. Yeah, yeah, I guess that would make sense. Yeah, but... Um, um, but yeah, it should... Uh, should draw a pretty good crowd, though. I would assume so. The following. At the very least, it seems like um, wrestling as a whole at least has a pretty good like following no matter where they go. It's true. So a lot of the casual WWE fans would probably go to something like that. Assuming, awesome. assuming that they have any knowledge at all. Yeah, well, depending on how it's advertised and things like that. Because I know All In had, like, a billboard and stuff like that in Chicago up, so... Yeah, and I'm I sure mean, they'll be... And, and that was just pretty much Cody Rhodes' thing, right? It wasn't, Pretty much, yeah, it, him in the box, it, yeah. While it was affiliated with Ring of Honor, it wasn't necessarily a Ring, Ring of Honor show. No, no. So, I mean, but, you know, it used a lot of their yes. talent and well, stuff that's, like that's that. I mean, yeah, though, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was more of a... It, uh, like a self-made indie show as opposed to a, a show that was affiliated necessarily. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, so absolutely. So they'll have the backing of the Ring mm -hmm. of Honor stuff yeah. this time. But, I mean, that's the crazy thing is, you know, all the guys that are in going to be at the show are, you know, guys you can pretty much see it. A lot of indie shows, mm -hmm. it's not like there's a huge attraction, and I think that's what makes it that much more special. The potential is limitless. I guess well, that's true. The only thing you're really not going to see is one of the WWE people. Mm -hmm. Or at least, not most likely. Yeah. There is time. And uh, I guess Jericho <laughs> went on the record saying that he will not wrestle elsewhere in North America. So, Or I should say in the States. So, for other than Vince McMahon. So oh, he, Because I guess he got he turned down New Japan for their shows. In the at U.S.? The, yeah, in the, the U.S. Yeah, and, the, the take place in L.A. normally, right? Yeah, yeah. I think they're at the Cow Palace in the beginning of July. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, so that's interesting. That. Yeah, like I don't understand why. Cause, don't, but know. then again, Jericho has said things, and well, they weren't entirely true. So. Yeah, that, and he said the U.S. So maybe if they have like Canadian shows, <gasps> maybe they'll show up in Impact. That's what I'm thinking. There's always a no, possibility. No way. All right, so it <laughs> looks like because Impact is going to be on the Ring of Honor, not the Ring. Well, I guess it's yeah. The, they're they're all starting the, to work together. The right? cruise ship, that is what Jericho's. Uh, yeah. What, well, that's right. his thing. Yeah, right. So, but he partnered with Ring of Honor because I guess he asked Vince if he wanted to bring his uh, WWE championship said, on. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, he said, but it "No looks, way, Jose." It looks like Jericho and the Bucks are going to team up. Uh huh. And I think they're going to face Sammy Callahan and the Chris brothers, which they're an impact and they have their own stable. So uh -huh. that may be a whole, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And it should be easy enough to do like some kind of cross promotion. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Leading up. No, to this, it. It's just fantastic for, for everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really like, like I said, we we're in a time where WWE television isn't at its greatest. Mm -hmm. I should say on Monday nights. Yeah. SmackDown's gotten better. It has. Uh, Raw has declined quite a bit. Um, um yeah, it was weird because we were bitching and complaining about, you know, there being, what, WrestleMania, then the greatest Royal Rumble, and, you know, so much going on in a short period of time, then mm. now a little over a month and we had no pay-per-views and it seems like the product's been just so stagnant. Yeah, yeah, it's um, funny. Can't so, win. No. Um, so, have you heard of the rumored main event for Money in the Bank? Is it a match that we're not expecting or is it a match that's already happening we just didn't think it was going to be the main event? Yeah, that one. The um, latter. Well, uh, based off of your reaction, <laughs> it's probably something we don't expect, mm -hmm. and it 
I, I really hope it's not what we've been saying it shouldn't be. No, 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 no. Because no. <laughs> we, we keep on saying it can't be Roman versus Jinder. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Um, Mm-mm. Well, oh, it's a title match. So, and since you're saying it like that, it's probably not Shinsuke versus AJ. <laughs> and what the only other title match is going to be the tag team match. Oh, no. I didn't mean oh, to no, there's, Oh, yeah, they're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be Ronda versus Nia. Yeah, that's, what, that's why they keep on saying that it's the most important match in Raw's... That's the rumor. It, it's so funny because they keep on saying it's the most important match in Raw's women's division. Mm-hmm. It's like the dumbest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. But yes, you're right. It's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed. Yep. Okay. See, now we don't have to worry about wondering if AJ and Shinsuke <laughs> are going to main event. Because we know they're not. Yeah. <laughs> They'll probably um, go on first. I would be fine with that. I know, but um, still... Well, I guess I'm sure a portion of the feuds are going to continue on past Money in the Bank. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if AJ Shinsuke goes to another pay-per-view. Yeah, that sucks. Um, oh, Jinder and ext- Roman. It has to. It's it's going to... Now, why didn't they put any anything on the match? I mean, even a number one contendership. Just just to that, throw that's, something. That'll probably be an extreme rules. Yeah, that, that's what I that, would assume. Because if, if if Roman does, in fact, go after the Universal title mm-hmm. next, it, it's easy enough to have him face Jinder and win. Right, right, yeah. But, um, I mean, at least... Because, I mean, you know, everybody can... I, I'm okay with this because it makes sense. Roman's mad because Jinder cost him the match. Oh, no, 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 the story's so, fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the fact that you, you're you technically starting a feud mm-hmm. as a grudge, and then you build yeah. to something, it I makes mean, more sense. Yeah. I mean, this, well, I think what, this, King of the Ring, this is where it should have been. We should really have a King of the Ring tournament, winner faces the champion at SummerSlam. Really what it should you be. You mean as a... Um, like in, as like kind of like the version of the Royal Rumble, but kind of yeah, the yeah second yeah. half right. of the year, yeah, yeah, because I mean SummerSlam is technically probably the second most important pay per view, you know, big that's, one. That's how they book it yeah. at the very least. Um, I mean, granted, I like I think the Royal Rumble is, but well, it, yes, they that doesn't make any sense to yeah. think about it because yeah. it's funny because the Royal Rumble leads into WrestleMania, so mm-hmm. it's like automatically like grouped together as right. if it's not its exactly own entity. yeah. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No. But I would imagine that at Extreme Rules, which I believe is the July pay-per-view, yeah. we will see Roman versus Jinder in some kind of probably an Extreme Rules match, mm-hmm. and it, it'll be for the number one contendership. You know what's a real shame? What? We didn't get the low blow match at Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> WWE missed out on the perfect opportunity here. Yeah, but at the at the same time, like there's a reason why they didn't bring the pay-per-view I know, back. I know. So, you remember, I think it was yesterday when I sent you the picture of uh, the Triple H photoshopped in with uh, Kim Jong. Is it Un or it's Il? Un. Un? Un. Whatever. I don't remember which one it is. One. And uh, Donald Trump. Yes. Apparently, it was brought up on the takeover call. Because I guess people were really oh, it was going confused around. that yeah 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 and he was like you know I was flattered to be in it but I mean I, I was just <laughs> I was just thinking of you know the whole thing if it was real it would be like we're gonna bring in this guy he's gonna get <laughs> nuclear heat he's gonna put Roman over He'd be the perfect guy to do it <laughs> small Korean man <laughs> nuclear heat come yep. on now it yep. works in so many different yep. ways all right, yeah. all right so you want to talk about raw. No, 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 really. All right. Um, <laughs> Baron Corbin finally cut his hair. Yeah. Um, looks a million times better. Absolutely. It's funny. However, they did miss an, out on an opportunity. Should have oh. had a hair versus hair match with somebody. Yeah. The, Should have had it with Ziggler. Yeah, I guess so. Well, actually, Ziggler's had short hair before. Right? Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, that, that was a good... I like what they're doing with the constable stuff. It's not bad. Um, it gives him something to do mm-hmm. because otherwise he'd just be beating up on Noe Jose. Yep. Um, if, if and I'm, if I'm going to be a uh, general manager on Roy, I guess, or uh, an authority figure on Roy, I guess I should shave my head. They look probably, like Kurt Angle. Probably made him do it. Um, <laughs> we can't have you looking like that on TV. So, <laughs> so, and I was thinking about, uh, well, it led to this, but how glad are you mm. that Kevin Owens isn't doing the constable thing oh because what he's doing is fantastic think about it though oh because it would have been the same thing that happened yes because it had to be Mm -hmm. it had to come up 
There's no way that they didn't at least <laughs> think about him doing it, right? All right, so what would have been worse, if you put Sami Zayn in that role or have him what he's well, doing now? <laughs> I don't think Sami Zayn would have done that role. I guess that's true. But Kevin, Kevin Owens, Owens most certainly would have, and that's he would fair. have been okay at it. But it's, it would have been another feud mm -hmm. where he was involved with the authority figures and it completely wasted potential. Mm -hmm. Because leading, what he's been doing is fantastic. Exactly. I was going to say, leading into what he did this week. Yeah. Well, this was perfect for Owens, and he deserve, always deserves to be at the top of the great. card. So this week, what Kevin Owens did is he, uh, there was a fatal four-way match f with uh, four men's uh, Money in the Bank competitors, mm -hmm. him, Braun, Bobby Roode, and Finn Balor. And Kevin Owens yes, went around. always smiling. Yep. <laughs> so Kevin Owens goes around and tries to get everyone to team up on Braun. This way, they can take him out, and he won't be a problem mm -hmm. on Monday. Yeah. And he's just like... And Finn and Bobby aren't really buying it, but he's like trying to just. Mm -hmm. He's like, doing what guys. Kevin Owens does. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. We gotta we gotta do what's smart. Come on, look at him and look at us. It's true. It's not gonna happen. Uh, so basically, he actually is successful to an extent mm -hmm. to get yeah. them to team up mm -hmm. on him. Yeah. And then he uh, took the big leap off the ladder. Yeah, despite his fear of heights or yes. alleged fear of heights yeah, from the yeah, week yeah. before. Um, but yeah, that was they did a really good job. Mm -hmm um also another thing that's worth mentioning is that they opened this was really strange they opened the show with all eight competitors from raw for money in the bank matches in the ring mm. it was very awkward looking because you had like i think four four like it did two of ember each look one. super uncomfortable on the ladder she when they, first, <laughs> I when they first came in yeah so and then Corey graves has the audacity <laughs> To say that this that Raw has never opened like this, despite the fact that two years ago, probably almost exactly two years ago, Raw opened exactly the same way, except for it was different competitors. Kevin Owens was part of it, though. Mm -hmm. And then what was the screenshot that I sent you? Road Dog went on Twitter and said, "Well, this is including oh, yes, women." Yes, 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 yes. So it, it was technically different. Technically different. different. Yeah. I was like, "You shill." Yeah, so dumb. Um, so. Do you think that this Mick Ziggles thing, McIntyre and Ziggler, mm -hmm. is it's just going to fizzle out and just going to fail for both of them? Because I feel like they're just throwing them in useless crap, and I feel like it's just going to kind of go nowhere. Well, they they really only have two options. Either they need to succeed or they need to fail. Right. And, and I know that sounds dumb. But this isn't a tag team that's gonna last. No, I know, but I mean, I don't. Where where are we going here with the tag team title picture? Is this gonna be an ongoing thing with yeah. Bray and Matt and the B team, mm -hmm. or is this a one time deal? And then Mick Ziggles, as we as we like to call him, will yeah. go after the titles that, and that then would, eventually split up. That would make the most sense, because um, either they're going to get a title shot soon, mm -hmm. or they're going to break up soon, because. Unless they're really that directionless for the probably the most um, or probably one of the best potential of a wrestler in McIntyre. Absolutely. On, probably in the entire company because there is no one who looks more like a, a, yeah, a world champion than, yeah, him. than him. It's and true. He's in a tag team with one of the kind of the most, I don't know, not... Because you can't say over or underrated, but just like, just got, the, just like the wasted potential. Someone who never lived up to their potential. Basically. Yeah, in Ziggler. Yeah, yeah, Granted, yeah. it's not really his fault, mm -mm. but it was just the way they booked him. Ooh, yeah. So he's kind of at a point in his career where he's he's just there, and and if anything, he's just going to drag McIntyre down. Mm -hmm. And so. that yeah, well, that's what I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. I don't want this to. So. Because, I mean, McIntyre, you know, he didn't take the ball and run with it the first time. This time he wants to, but, you know, there's they're, only they're so much There's only so much you can do. Mm -hmm. um, it's true. I thought the uh, gender Roman stuff was all right this week. I, I kind of liked Roman kind of calling him an idiot and stuff like that. The, the only problem was the fact that they made such a big stink <laughs> about it being Roman versus Jinder yeah. and even saying that this match is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And then they go back and Jinder says that I didn't actually challenge you. It's going to be this guy. Samir. Which... Well, yeah, it, yeah, he was he was making a uh, uh, like like it was going to be the great Kali that was going to come yeah, out. He did. They say were that. definitely teasing that, but obviously it wasn't going to be him. Yeah. 
I so, still like the idea of Jinder facing Brock and having the entire Singh family come out, including Mama Singh, like you said. Yeah. Great Kali. <laughs> Let's just bring every Indian wrestler out. Yep. It would be amazing. Yeah. But no. no. So I, I'd uh, even be okay if Jinder took the title off Brock. Could you imagine how... What do you think the reaction would be to that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're at a point where, because I think last year at Survivor Series, when it was originally going to be Jinder and Brock, there was a lot of curiosity there, but there was also the hatred. Yeah. Because we were like, all right, you have you beat Orton how many times? You beat Shinsuke, mm -hmm. and now, oh, he might beat Brock. Yeah. <laughs> this might happen. Because at, at this point now, though, you're, you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place between either it's going to be Roman mm -hmm. or it's going to be Jinder. It's like... <laughs> Nobody wants to see either of them. Or you have that one of them beat Brock, and then you have somebody cash in, and then it's all um, null and void. Honestly, it wouldn't be out of the question for Jinder to win and mm. then get cashed in on. Yeah. Granted, we said the same thing last year. But. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they had so much potential for the Baron Corbin Money in the Bank run. Yeah, but, but I, don't, I don't think they... Well, he kind of dug his own grave with a lot of things, so... Yeah, and at the same time, he never really seemed like he was getting Any, to yeah, that yeah, yeah. point. That's true. With Carmella, you kind of knew it was going to build up to eventually. Mm -hmm. Well, at that point, we were questioning, when the hell does this happen? Yeah. Or does, or does this... The, is this the one time where... Uh, yeah. She oh, runs crap. out of time. <laughs> Oh, Although man. they are doing, they I I like what they did. Oh, with what with, with Carmella? Carmella. Yeah, and they're actually building her to be like a better heel mm -hmm. as a as the champion too. There's, there's still a possibility she goes over Sunday. No, there's a very good chance. <laughs> I know. Uh, I don't think obviously it won't be like clean or anything, but although <laughs> she did beat Charlotte. Never say never, my so, friend. We'll see. But the the funny thing is. Carmella being who she is, she's automatically seen as a lesser competitor, mm -hmm. despite the fact that she's actually not that bad in the ring. Com comparatively speaking, I guess that's she's probably true. she was the strongest person on that tag team last night. Who else was there? It was her, Carmella, the Iconics, Iconics, and who and, else was uh, there? Ma I guess Mandy's actually pretty good, yeah. and Sonya's rough. Uh, yeah, I, there's potential there with them. Well, definitely. yeah, those two are definitely have a have a good future if they're booked properly. Yeah. But Carmella is probably the most solid on that team. I it's know. not. I don't, I don't think much. I agree with you, but that's okay. Well, e either way, she's, it doesn't matter. She's, she's gotten much better over. That's fair. Yeah, and it's really funny because thinking back three years ago, oh, she yeah. was just hanging the out ballet, with Enzo, yeah. basically. So yeah. it is crazy. Mm -hmm. um we so saw bobby lashley run an obstacle course yeah which was, while it was impressive how quickly and well he was able to do it which isn't a surprise no. um the segment really didn't linger on too long which was nice yeah if anything the start starting of it took a while so to set all that crap up yeah, yeah. um but I mean, sammy's doing the best that uh yeah, he can do with the crap thrown his way yeah it's pretty it's pretty That's bad it. writing mm-hmm I'm honestly surprised they didn't do the obstacle course thing with Titus though, because of his uh, his uh, slipping and falling. And or were they gonna have a bunch of like the undercard do it and then have Bobby Lashley do it as well? Yeah, and have him like win something if he wins mm -hmm. or something like that. Don't true. have Sami Zayn be in charge of it. Have someone else, and then have Bobby Lashley do the obstacle course, mm -hmm. and then Sami Zayn attacks him. That works. I guess so. Yeah um all right i guess we can talk about the two biggest matches on raw you mean the only ones that mattered yeah those ones <laughs> um the women's fatal four-way yes uh four women's competitors for money in the bank so it was sasha alexa ember and natalia mm -hmm. um yeah they uh they went pretty hard for a did, little while there did you see when sasha almost like, died well <laughs> she's the one who jumped right and We're, oh, did the natalia cross, did the no they did a cross body onto the like the, on the outside mm -hmm. and like full force into the the barricade. Oh, it was that Ember? Did, Ember jumped did on the, Sasha. Ember did the suicide dive through the ropes onto Sasha, okay, and Sasha okay. was the one that went okay. back. Yeah, yeah, that was because Sasha hit Natalia off the top ropes. Mm. She went down. Ember hit the suicide dive on Sasha, and then Alexa Bliss punched Ember Moon, and she sold the hell out of it. Oh, okay. And then yeah, that was quite a quite a lot of distance yeah. that she covered. Mm -hmm. 
Usually they'll stop like a couple of feet before yeah. the barricade. The uh, potential with Ember Moon is is very high. Oh um, yeah. So I I don't think that she gonna win Bunny in the Bank match. The Ember? Yeah. She's got a good. There's a the, no. Good she chance. has a good chance. She has a better chance than uh, quite a few of them. But I, I think that they're gonna wait, which is the smart thing to mm. do, because right now that in such a murky position with the women's yeah. yeah so i don't think anyone on raw is in a good place to win this either of them really yeah i, I think it's worse on raw no, no no i meant uh the men's and women's on raw oh, oh okay yeah, I, was, yeah. I was gonna say and it's mm-hmm. funny because last night i was thinking about it because there's so many potential good options on smackdown to win both of them mm-hmm. whereas on raw oh, yeah. it's like like yeah you can see kevin owens winning yeah, you can see Braun winning. But the problem but with, with that is it seems like when somebody wins the money in the bank, that's pretty much all they're about. Mm-hmm. And Kevin, you that would just waste, be a waste of potential. Can't and waste Braun, Kevin, no. can't waste Braun. It's going to kill Raw. Mm-hmm. It'll legitimately kill them. Because it's just going to be Kevin like looming. Or Braun, oh, yeah, Braun yeah. coming out and beating up random people with the briefcase. Like... <laughs> Not using it, yeah. But he'll just carry it around, and he'll just be beating up jobbers again um, until they decide to actually have him cash in. Yeah. But I think that if he did, he probably wouldn't hold it for very long. Mm-hmm. Probably be the next time that Brock showed up to work. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Brock didn't show up for work today. Yeah. Um. But, but yeah, this it, was a. It was like yeah. I know we got a little off topic, but this was a. It was a good good match. Natalia yeah. Yeah, even yeah. looked pretty good. Um, yeah. she's definitely not going to win. Now, um, did you see that there was a picture going around where, uh, I guess they iced the one knee and then taped up the other one. So it was the different knee. Oh, yeah. Natalia. <laughs> yeah. With her bandaged outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The man's ass. Nice. Well, I mean, she's got such a tight, uh, I guess, what is it? Just a body suit. I know, on. but it's just yeah, fun. I like, why would you do that? Yeah. You know, looks silly. I mean, um, uh, Elias got through a full song. He did. Yeah, it was he, pretty good, actually. He he only got interrupted because he started talking smack about Seth afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then apparently he got a got a guitar from John Mayer. Yeah. Also, AKA Jay Z, according to according coach. to the coach. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought Why I'd did... miss Booker T. <laughs> Co- coach John? Huh? Coach John? What did I rec- <laughs> according to Coach John? <laughs> Oh, okay. According to Coach John Mayer. Yeah, there should have been an That's pretty funny. Day. Coach John. Because his name is John. Coach John so. Mayer, yeah. So that's, that's true. Jonathan funny. Coachman, that's yeah. him. He's uh he's dumb. Yeah. He's really cause But it's sad <laughs> you can kind of move around three different people and they're yeah. all terrible. They're all horrible and <laughs> none of them are I'd take Booker T over them though, because at least he makes it entertaining. Because he gets he's more passionate, mm-hmm. or at least he seems more passionate. Yeah. And, and like, he gets co- like he, he digs himself such yeah. a deep hole that he can't get yep. out of. Yep. And then I, I think Corey Graves also has more fun, like picking on Booker over the other two. Mm-hmm. So absolutely, it, it's funny. I don't think Corey really picks on um, a tongue okay. very much. No. But he, like, certainly not the way that he does <laughs> the other two. Yeah. But. Um, and then we main evented with the men's fatal four way. Yes. Um, we kind of, uh, we kind of made mention to Kevin Owens' table. Yeah. Well, he jumped off the ladder onto a, a, a prone brawn on the announce table. Yep. And that kind of put the two of them out of commission yep. for a while. So then the other three battled it out. No, Owens was out for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah he was. Right, the right. Because it was were. just Finn and Rude. Yeah. They were just smiling at each other the whole time. <laughs> Who had the better smile? Yep. The crowd was choosing. <laughs> it was awkward now. <laughs> um, yeah, then Owens got back up and... Right, and then yeah, he he eventually ended up. Then back Strowman, in. and then Strowman did a lap around the ring and hit everybody with shoulder tackles, which is amazing. Yeah, but those shoulder tackles didn't look as good as they normally do. Well, because everybody was dead practically. Yeah, because it looked on, honestly. Did he slip? Didn't he? I could have sworn on he slipped. Of them, he well, going to Finn, I think on but, the first one. Um, Owen still got a flip in there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Owen sold it well, but the other two, it looked like Braun kind of like tapped them, and mm-hmm. then they went flying on their own accord. Yeah. Um. It was pretty. It was yeah. pretty. Uh, and then Braun ate everyone's finisher. Mm-hmm. Kicks out of two. Yep. Uh, you know, one f five though. He's, that'll put you away. Yep. Well, that's that's <laughs> why we're kind of hoping that purple man goes away. Yeah, that would it's be ruining nice. everybody. Well, yeah. 
Yeah. And Braun ends up winning with Power Slam. Yep. Onto a ladder on Kevin Owens. Yep. So he at least was nice to stop and make sure he lined up. Nice. Yeah. I mean, out of the last couple of weeks, I think Raw was better this week. Uh yeah, it was definitely the most solid of the most recent ones. But uh well, I mean, we're on to money in the bank, so hopefully uh Yeah, we, we finally can... got it. We made it. We survived. Man. A lot was, of stops on the way, but we've made yeah, it. It was it was a little rough, but <clears throat> yeah. And then uh, we got SmackDown, where we had a bunch of fantastic matches announced for the show. Mm-hmm. I mean, Daniel Bryan versus Shelton Benjamin, Rusev versus uh, Samoa Joe. Yes. Jeff Hardy versus Shinsuke Nakamura. All first time matches, yeah. which is kind of irrelevant. But yeah, still. absolutely. Um, and then they announced a match at the beginning. Mm. We're gonna have a. Eight woman tag, yep. which is the most of any kind in SmackDown history. <laughs> it's because it's the first time where Holy they had crap, more we have than, this many. <laughs> yeah, they've never had this what many do do? people. So. What do we do? Oh, 10 men. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then later on, they added Carmella and Asuka mm-hmm. because Asuka wanted to fight Carmella. Yeah. But Paige's like, yeah, we can't do that. Um, uh, Paige is. She's doing a good job. Ten times better than with Kurt Angle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I think the... Well, I mean... She's more natural. Well, that, and she was actually... Has, like, history with a lot of these people. Mm-hmm. I mean, she, Kurt does, but they can't reference all that history he's had well, with these guys. that and the fact that she feels like someone who's involved. Right. Whereas it's like... Kurt still can't pronounce WWE correctly. Double, double. <laughs> D- WWE. So it's like Kurt Angle... Like manages from his office, mm-hmm. whereas Paige manages from, like, in the locker room. Yeah, I know that's a weird. Analogy, no, I, I gotcha. But she's she knows what's going on. She feels like she's involved, whereas Kurt Angle kind of just interrupts. Yeah, he's just kind of there. So, it's just mm-hmm. the in the level of comfort. Yeah, because you know, it, realistically, Kurt Angle wasn't really a big promo guy anyway no i mean he had the small backstage segments and funny things like that that he was a part of that were memorable yes but those were all driven by other people that's true too when he was with edge and christian mm -hmm. stone cold lesnar Uh um you know when he was a uh, competent competitor yeah so like even they had him with like uh sean michaels Mm -hmm. when they did the sexy kurt song (laughs) yes that was still him making fun of something. Right, yeah. yeah. Whereas he's not trying to create, he's using what's there. Right. When he, and since he's trying to create from nothing here, yeah. it's kind of hard to... Nobody's taking the ball and running with it, according to, you know, Drew McIntyre. So, yeah. Kurt doesn't have much to work with. Exactly. Um, first match, Daniel Bryan, Shelton Benjamin. Yep. Um, fantastic sequence toward the end with Benjamin oh. getting the half crab in mm-hmm. and then... Daniel Bryan switched it over to the heel hook. Yeah. Well, I think Daniel Bryan had the yes lock in first. Or, and yeah, then he reversed yep. it into the mm-hmm. half crab and then. Oh yeah, yeah that's hook. right. Yeah. So it was uh, it was good technical wrestling. Yep. Shelton Benjamin was working the knee the whole time, mm-hmm. um, which is weird because it's not like uh, did Daniel Bryan have a knee injury going into that? Um, I didn't think so. No, I thought he. I thought something happened during the match that started it. No, all. I know that. But oh, usually beforehand? They, I got gotcha. you. They'll, like, start with something if they're going to go all in on that. I don't remember. Because be I don't think Shelton Benjamin's really a submission guy. So, like, if so, he was... Just you know, a guy that you always forget how big he is. <laughs> that, too. Yes. Um, That's what I feel like. But, yeah, that was a good match. Mm-hmm. Um, they're still doing good stuff with that interview kind of off the stage. Kind of very old school. It's very strange, though. I think it's better than in the ring, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um. So we had our, uh, I guess, mandatory uh, king appearance. We're in Memphis. in Memphis. Come on now. So he shows up just to interview AJ Styles. That's all we need him there for. the interview did nothing. All he said was that he was going to win. Is it? I know it doesn't You're mean really anything. You're really surprised? It didn't mean anything. It was just funny. There's really nothing they can do that can further this anymore. Oh, absolutely yeah. not. Um, yep. But that was, that was, mm-hmm. that was dumb. So uh, I guess we'll go on to the, the women's now, or the women's stuff now. Whatever. So the show opened with uh, the four competitors for the uh, Money women's. in the Bank mm-hmm. match. 
uh, the women's at least. Yep. Um, which was different than Raw. Which yes, is good. I'm very I'm glad. So they, glad yes. they didn't open with all eight of them on ladders again. Mm-hmm. Um, because and we didn't transition into a match right after it. No, it was built for the yes. main event, which built- is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And what's the what they used to do? Yeah. So they have the four of them. We're kind of thinking, okay, maybe they'll do a, fatal they'll do something, something, and they'll all want to fight, and then they'll have a fatal four way like they did on Raw. Mm-hmm. Which honestly, if they did it like that, it would have been okay. Um, and all four women are technically faces, right? Yes. Because uh, I, I think Lana and Rusev are technically faces yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, compar- comparatively speaking, mm-hmm. like if they had to split it down the yeah. line, yeah, the yeah. tag team match that they ended up making mm-hmm. is the heels and the, faces. the faces. Yep. Um, so they had them each saying their piece on how they think that they're going to win. Mm-hmm. Um, and then basically... The Iconics come out and they go and make fun of everybody because that's what they do. And they're actually not that they bad at do, it. They do their thing well. Um, it's funny when the Australians make fun of other people for having ridiculous accents. Because you can barely understand what they're saying to begin Half with. Half the time, yeah. yeah. Um, so they make fun of all the, the wrestlers in the ring. And then Mandy and Sonya come out and they kind of just jump, jump on in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then I think it was uh, Charlotte and Becky was like, oh, we, we know what we have to do now. So they all rush out of the ring. They all start fighting. Yep. Paige runs away because she's not allowed to get touched. No. Um, and then uh, they just cut to commercial pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. And then that's when the Daniel Bryan and Shelton Actually, match. no, they didn't cut to commercial. No, they cut they, to the announce yeah, table. Yeah, they cut where, to the announce where table. Where Tom would just kept going on and on and on about being a, a new subscriber and getting money in the bank for free. And yeah. he did his job because I remember exactly what he said. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, anyway, um, from what happened last week in the main event, we got Rusev versus Samoa Joe with The Miz as special guest referee. Mm-hmm. Look at WWE. Keeping so, things going. So... Very strangely, uh, earlier, um, Paige runs into The Miz, Mm -hmm. who's wearing a referee's outfit Mm -hmm. and his bandana, which I know you love. Um, Stupid. And he's, like, pretending to be a referee. Paige is like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm just rehearsing for my role in a made-up movie. (laughs) Yeah. So, and then he's like, oh, you know what would really help if I could referee that match? And then Paige makes it seem like, well, I can't really do that Mm because you're going to... And then all of a sudden she's like, you know what? I'll let you do it. <laughs> so that was a little weird because she kind of talked in circles for a little bit. And then yep. she ended up doing what he wanted to begin with. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe he'll be a referee of a different match. Oh, right, right. Or there'll be a second referee. Something. Or something like that. Somebody overseeing it. But whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that, that match happened. Joe versus Rusev with mm-hmm. Miz's ref. Yes. Um, Joe sporting a new haircut. Yes. And Mohawk with his puffy hair, which looks strange, but whatever. Ah, looks fine. Um, yeah, Miz ends up getting hit in the corner mm-hmm. by Joe. Then Rusev he did not hit. take kindly to no, that. No, no. Yeah, Rusev. He, he refuses to, to count for Joe, right? Yeah, because he uh, he got Rusev down. Yeah, because I think Aiden had gotten up on the apron at one point. That's and that's Joe why had... the Miz was in the yeah, corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was trying to get Aiden off the ring, mm-hmm. uh, off the apron. Yep. Um, then he ate a Machka kick, and uh, yeah, Rusev won. Yep. And then what? The I'm Miz. The Miz didn't do a fast count. To be fair, yeah. I know he didn't need to, but it would have mm-hmm. been. And then the Miz grabbed the briefcase from up top and opened it, and it was full of pancakes. Well, should have been full of burgers. Why? Because the International House of Pancakes oh, is now God, the International sure. House of yeah. Burgers. Yeah. So <laughs> what he what he did a little more specific is he brought it down to the announce table. Oh yeah, that's and right. Started yelling at Byron. Saying, I'm going to cash this in. I'm going to be the new champion. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cash in this contract. Byron opens the briefcase for whatever reason. <laughs> and he's like, Miz, this this doesn't have a contract in it. Mm-hmm. It's just got a bunch of pancakes. And then you just hear the New Day laughing, and then it cuts it was them good. in the back. It was, it, was, good. it was very good. They did a good job with yeah. that. Yeah, and it, it's cool because they transitioned one one feud or one segment into another. Mm-hmm. Like, seamlessly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because they're completely irrelevant. That's true. Or unrelated, except for the fact that it has to do with money in mm-hmm. the bank. But the two really haven't been that involved with each other. And we still don't know which member of the New Day yeah. is Corey going to Graves be in money is, in the bank. Corey Graves is going to find out, though. That's what he said. <laughs> sure. 
He's going to find out when the match starts. As long as he's not too busy yelling at CM Punk. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, this Jeff Hardy versus Shinsuke match. I don't think you could have booked a better ending to this. This was absolutely yeah. perfect. And every I still laugh every time he does it. What, the low blow? Yeah, it's just... Because <laughs> um, it's like he's trying to pull their hair. Yeah. Oh, he goes all, yeah. all the way Because he, like, reaches all the way to the back of their neck. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, so it, it obviously looks like Jeff is working with some sort of injury or something. Oh, yeah, he was on. moving he's around not very moving gingerly. Around. Um, so I wouldn't... Well, anyway, like you said, Shinsuke low blows Jeff after... Jeff successfully hits a swanton bomb, and Shinsuke gets his foot on the rope. Yep, which was fantastic as well. Because it then, took Jeff a while to get mm -hmm. to the to the uh, to Shinsuke, right? And I think Shinsuke is able to move a little, a bit little bit, yeah, to between. reposition himself. Yep, uh, uh, and then he gets a little blowed. Yes. Uh, but I mean, we know Jeff isn't wrestling at Money in the Bank, so I would assume that if he is indeed hurt, that they're gonna probably take the title off of him. Um, it depends. Because if it was going to be a long-term thing, they probably would have done it already. I guess. If, Maybe they didn't think it was as severe as it is, you know? Well, it, 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 well he did wrestle. You yeah. know what I mean? It's I not, know. If, if it was bad enough where he couldn't, then... Yeah. But since he obviously, well, it didn't look very comfortable since he yeah. could, there's a good chance that he'll not... They won't vacate it. They might just have him drop it. Drop it. Um, and the fact that he's not on Money in the Bank is kind of telling as well. Yeah, Hell well, that a... that was probably them saying, "All right, we'll give you a month off." Mm -hmm. All right, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So because he, yeah, he hasn't wrestled in a while. Yeah. This is the only match he's been in since the Greatest Royal mm -hmm. Rumble, probably yeah. maybe a week after. Yeah. I don't know for sure. Um. So. That's true. But. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. I actually know Backlash or you know it's Backlash. Oh, that's right, right, right. Because right. that was after the Greatest yeah. Royal Rumble. Uh, but it's gonna be interesting if he does or who he's going to have a feud with next or who he's going to drop it to um i would be fine with a jeff or shinsuke feud to be completely honest I just don't that would make sense i don't see that happening because like we but that would discussed. be a good way to transition the title off jeff onto shinsuke yeah and, and get shinsuke out of that feud right because AJ. i mean he's it's not going anywhere no it's not but aj needs to face joe that's yeah yeah that's really what's got to happen yeah that that'll really inv or reinvigorate the title, mm -hmm. and then maybe they'll let uh, AJ have the title for over a year, and then he can take the that stupid honor away from Brock Lesnar. Tec I mean, it's different it. titles, so it's no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know that it's still classed as the same. I know, but well, because Punk had the WWE title, it's it true. wasn't even like it was the World Heavyweight title. Yeah, I guess that's fair. So technically, his his belt is the same as the original one. Yeah. <clears throat> whatever yeah 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 um and we got some more nonsense between big Cass and daniel bryan um yeah not much more to say this isn't gonna be good for anybody no well we kind of just have to again hope that this was like a filler thing yeah because big I mean, Cass isn't doing anything daniel bryan's not doing anything they could have really run with it though with the whole you know you came back the same time I came back, and you uh -huh. overshadowed me, so here, I'm going to put you out forever. You know, something. It's kind of what they did. Yeah, kind of. Well, but... they went the wrong way. Uh, yeah. They should have had Daniel Bryan be injured instead of Big, Big Cass. Cass. Yeah. That would have made a lot more sense. But I think that had Daniel Bryan gotten injured because of Big Cass, the amount of heat. I guess that's fair. Is... That's fair. So they might have thought of that ahead of time. Whoa. Which is strange, I know. A very strange concept. Um, so... Uh, whatever but yeah no Cass Cass doesn't look good really at all no and the funny thing is when he first came back he kind of showed some potential yeah, that first promo we were like oh crap he's, yeah. he did something while he was off and then it's just been yeah it's not oh, that it's been poorly delivered it's, Cass is on TV again yeah it's Yay. just not interesting oh well, so. that's it there's no stipulation just two guys it's another match yeah. for no reason yeah that's really what it comes so. down to i mean if they're told a good story of why they were fighting that's that's fine yeah although this will probably lead into a stipulation match maybe a submission match at extreme rules oh god um which makes no sense because cast doesn't know any submissions probably yeah i guess <laughs> so whatever yep and then we main evented with the uh 10 woman tag yeah i fell asleep during. first time ever um yeah this is the basic 
We're going to have the heels beat up on the faces. Did they point to the briefcase? Um, the show ended after um, Carmella taps out to the Oscar lock. Uh-oh. Which kind you know of what is, that means. is telling. You know so what that it, means. We were talking about Clean. earlier. Nah. Clean victory. Oh, Clean. So, <laughs> so... Ronda's next. <laughs> All in on Carmella. That's that's WWE's new, uh, All new right. thing. Very good. So anyway, the five of them, meaning uh, Lana, Asuka, Charlotte, Becky, and Naomi, um, are in the ring. Uh, Asuka's in the middle. And the four of them look up at the briefcase, and Asuka's kind of just looking around like she's confused. No, she wasn't actually confused, <laughs> but it was funny. Um, and that's how the show ended, with the four of them looking up at the briefcase. Ooh. They didn't point at the sign, though. Compelling. <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah, it's... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's just such a, such a shame they had so many good matches throughout the show, and that's yeah. what they end on. Um, I have no problem with it. They yeah. want to kind I of... fell asleep, so I have nothing really I can yeah, say. You, you can't. You don't, you're not allowed <laughs> to say anything. I can say whatever I want. Um, but it, it makes sense that if they're going to have a, a female mean event at the pay-per-view to kind of do the same with the go-home show on SmackDown. I guess that's Because on Raw, technically, the they women's uh, Money in the Bank is um, not as in, not, not as big mm-hmm. on the competitor side, I guess. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Um, it don't yeah. matter. It's going to be a toss-up. Uh, we did learn that Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows will face the Bludgeon Brothers on the pre-show. I didn't know that, Yes, but I believe I think know. they announced it during Smacky Down. I'm sure they did. I probably just missed it. <laughs> I think Luke Harper tweeted to Carl Anderson asking if his hot Asian wife was going to be there at Money in the Bank. <laughs> Uh, Carl was like, no, we're going to be there to take those titles off you. Those, or something like those that. Those two are so funny. They're fantastic. They're great. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I know you have a very good idea of who's going to win the men's money in the bank. but Wait, what? You have a, a big favorite. Oh, oh, yeah. you mean in my opinion? Yeah, in your opinion, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. There's the, That's why I said the, you. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There's not a whole lot of good winners. I know. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know if anything has been telling. Just no, like, no, no, that's, no. But th- that's what the thing is, is that everybody's had their moment mm-hmm. almost, except for Bobby Roode. But he's definitely not. Yeah, winning. oh yeah, there's no way. <laughs> it'd be If he won, it'd be like Zack Ryder winning the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania a couple yeah. of years ago. But right, he really is the only one that hasn't stood tall one night or grabbed the briefcase or something like that. Miz grabbed the briefcase. Joe grabbed the briefcase. Finn grabbed the briefcase. Owens. Owens. No, he wanted to. He didn't. I thought Owens did. No, because when you remember what he went to when he was... Oh, that's right. He was scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think Braun looked tall. Well, yeah, Braun always stands tall. Yeah, that's true. Um, Rusev got a win this week. Yes. Um, The New Day stood tall, technically. Yeah. But we don't know who's going to even be in that it match It doesn't yet. matter. Did you notice that Xavier Woods... They were Woods in the same yeah. t-shirt? Yes, I did. <laughs> and it was probably the size shirt that Big E was wearing. Yeah. Which is pretty um, funny. Yeah. Oh, um, speaking of that, you saw on WWE.com, it's going to be Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks versus the New Day in a, I think it's Street Fighter, three-on-three match. I guess it's going to be streamed on YouTube. Really? On Thursday, tomorrow, I believe. Interesting. Yeah. It was on WWE's mean main page yeah sounds wrong because originally it was i guess xavier woods and kenny omega and they just said like independent star kenny omega and then it got changed with the young bucks and i guess they acknowledged their uh them being iwgp champions well, so th- see that's the dumb thing is there's no reason why not they to. don't acknowledge it, it? yeah it's so dumb we know they're well, out there it, don't pretend like we're stupid because <laughs> if you work if they work together there's so much potential you don't even need to have them compete at the same time. Just acknowledge the fact that they exist. That's it. It's That's it. not that hard. Yep. Because if you have that, then all of a sudden you can work together. That's it. And then even you're not going to lose And that's just going to help money. everybody. Yeah. It's benefiting both sides. See, when you were dealing with WCW, a mm. hostile... That was different. Because it's direct, literally direct competition. they were trying to actually take you down. Mm-hmm. Whereas the independent guys... New Japan, Ring of Honor. They're just trying to do what they love. 
And that's the biggest problem is that WWE is too much of a business where they're trying to just make it so that they corner the market, mm-hmm. which is illegal, but technically you can't really do anything about it because you're not actually making Other people go away. Other businesses are still yeah. existing. And, and it's because I think the way monopolies work is that you need to actively do it, whereas if you just happen to be the only right. one doing yeah, it, it's yeah, not it's your different. fault. Yeah. So, but... And, well, with the way they've been pursuing talent, signing them up and stuff like that, it just feels like that's all they want to do is yeah. take over. Mm-hmm. And when you have no competition, you're forced to watch one thing, and then that's when you're like, uh, do I really need this in my life? Yeah, and that's that's why Raw and SmackDown <clears throat> have been so bad is that they don't right. really care. Yeah, Because they're like, oh, we have all the good people. That's why you watch wrestling, isn't it? Yeah, and I guess this is you know, a complete rumor, but I, I guess with them acknowledging... The three of them, there is rumors that they want to sign them po- uh, prior to the Fox, you know, startup. Oh. So they have uh, huge ratings going into it. They like wanted the- to watch. They wanted to sign them forever. I know, but Omega's got an open invitation according to Triple H. Yeah, I know. I know that was like not speculated on, but like kind of like <clears throat> leaked or whatever yeah. at some point. I'm sure the Young Bucks have the same thing. Oh yeah. So, but I mean, you know, is it really worth it for them? Um, I would imagine if they did a one-off. I mean, the no. the real, like, thing for them is that it kind of takes all the legwork out of it for them, where they don't have to book themselves, they're automatically there. But it's not like they're gaining health insurance, they're not gaining all this other stuff. You know, they're I'm sure they're making plenty of money doing what they're doing now. Well, that honestly could be a, a benefit for them to go, yeah. because if they're making tons of money now... The money part isn't as important. That's true, I guess. Yeah. So, like, they'll take the, like the the lack of needing to go and do all the mm-hmm. legwork, Flying from for Japan a to year America. or two, yeah, yeah, yeah. increase their stock even further, and then yeah. go out on the road again. That's possible. I would imagine that if they do do that, I don't know how old Kenny Omega is. I think he's in his early, uh, like, 33, 34. Yeah. I would so assume somewhere around somewhere. there. So yeah. let's say, for argument's sake, the two, the, like right now. the three of them come in. They do a three-year stint. Mm-hmm. They get three WrestleManias in, and then they decide they want to leave. They still have time afterwards to even improve on stuff. I guess he's 34. Either way. It'll be 35. Even if they do a three, yeah, yeah, three yeah. years, they yeah. still have another still at least three years tank, after yeah. that. So it would be beneficial for them just to get more mm-hmm. of the casual American fans behind them. They right. would leave. It's kind of like Cody Rhodes. The amount of like um, people that he probably drew a lot of WWE fans away. Right. Not not away from WWE, but like more to Ring of Honor. To other promotions. Because yeah, yeah, they yeah. know him. Right. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, He's an, yeah, a known name. And that's, yeah. his name does have value. Absolutely. When you're. Yeah, so I would imagine having the three of them in the WWE being Omega and the Young Bucks, that would even increase their stock. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, and then I mean, that leaves another question is where does, what does it do with the Bullet Club stuff? Because WWE is going to want to capitalize huge on that, but I don't think they... They might just I don't know if that's a New club. Japan They might just thing. continue the club, and then when they leave... Yeah. That'd probably be what it is, because mm-hmm. you know, they did that with the woke and stuff. And yeah, that's true. So we'll they've see. already established the club. Mm-hmm. Um, it's easy enough to just to have Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, you know, former Bullet Club members mm-hmm. to begin with. Right. This way, what well, the only problem with that is that you need to like expand, but they don't have the room to do so because. You can't have a stable of, like, eight guys Mm -hmm. on a show with the roster of, like, 20. Right. Like, it's not possible. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, everything's going to become overcrowded, and that's Mm -hmm. what WWE... I mean, look, have we ever seen an NXT this packed, really? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, unfortunately, we don't watch it because... Yeah, it's too much wrestling. I I, I know. I'll probably end up watching it, like, four or five hours of it over the weekend to get get caught up by take over. I've been more or less following what's going on. Yeah, oh, I read stuff online. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually watching it. That's all. I just need to know why things are happening. Well, that's the beautiful thing about NXT, because everything will be told in that match that you need to know. Yeah, that and those 
like a few minute long packages mm. actually will help now. Right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead that's of fair. just having to sit through them I know. for no reason. I know. So but yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in wrestling. And that's the, like I said to start the show, that's the beauty of it. If you're tired with one thing, there's always another option. Yep. It's true. And, well, it's a beautiful thing. So I guess that is all we have. Yes, sir. Um, we will see you guys next time for our Money in the Bank preview and predictions yes. video. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.